Hello everyone, so in this session, we will be looking at the biological database and resources. So big parts of bioinformatics is essentially enable to analyze, extract, and access data. In most instances, you will either be use the data stored in online repositories or generating data yourself, then analyze data. There are large type of different data, and supported to understand how data stored, and where the data stored, it also important to understand what tool are available for you to analyze your data, in the case you are generating your own data. And the big part of bioinformatics is, understanding the outcome of big data, and big data management and access. So to start off, there are such big range of different database and resource in bioinformatics arena. And in order to start of any project, or enable to start bioinformatics analysis, you first need to know what database and resources exist, what tools are available to mining this resources, and then what tools are available to search cross resources. There are large number of databases, resources, and tools, available in this time for bioinformatics analysis. So the first idea was to having an idea of what good database, and what resources, in order to select correct tools for particular analysis. One of the best places to thought of, is to having idea or to give an idea of having best databases, or resources. Out there, is TO publication, that are published by Nucleic Acid Research Journal, about particular bioinformatics database that have been developed and are available online in term of databases as well as tools. They categorize all the different type of data, for example, the nucleic acid sequence, structure and regulation, protein structure motives and domains, metabolic and signaling pathways, each. So if you interested in particular area of research, and want to know what databases out there containing information related to that area of research, this publication is the best places to look in order to find the most up-to-date databases that are available. In July of every year, the Nucleic Acid Research Journal, also publish what called a web server issue. The web server issue give you a list of web tool that are available for different type of data analysis. Again, it is the good starting point to look, if you are looking for online tool, or standalone tool, that will allow you to do particular type of data analysis. Initially, to start up any project, then you have to look for this issue, and see what is databases and web servers are available for you to do a particular analysis. The good things about the Nucleic Acid Research Journal publication, in databases, and web server, as well, is it's allow you to make sure you using the most up-to-date resources, so what you do for each of databases and resources, they published a paper related to whether that database is updated and maintained as the web servers. So important thing, and concept to keep in mind, as well to do bioinformatics analysis, or retrieving data in online, is to ensure that you always retrieving information from updated resources, or using tool that regularly updated and maintained. Let's have a look at databases. So in bioinformatics, you have that most data is stored in databases and there are some different aspects or different types of databases that are available out there, so the first is that some of databases can be public or private. Luckily in the bioinformatics arena, majority of databases are public, therefore the access as well as submission into this databases is usually open to public, and there is no need for anything to pay or to have subscription. To be able to access to this data, you also do have some private databases online and in most instances these databases are maintained by private companies and used for development of balances. In terms of databases been public or private, this is in terms of access and submissions, so might find that some databases is allow you publicly submit data to its databases, but might have hard access. In terms of different types of databases, to find different databases storing protein information, protein data and nucleotide data, structure data, literature data, annotation data, each. Databases can be also generalized or specialized, so for example for generalized databases is databases for storing nucleotide sequences an example for this type of databases is GenBank database, and it's essentially database able to submit any nucleotide sequences generated for any organism. Within else there are specialized databases, 
such as databases for pathogen or particular pathogen, particular organism, it may be specialized in terms of the type of sequences, data that added to it, each. Within that there is the concept of curate versus the non-curate databases, and this an important concept because it is important to understand what is the quality of database, and how is this data checked or validated, so in terms of curate databases, either the databases where the data have been submitted publicly by anyone, however the data have been checked, and by check it means this data have been physically checked by human individuals, it goes to all relevant information bin submitted to that database, to make sure it is everything is correct. In terms of data dilute, that is part of bioinformatics, and by date dilute, this mean, large date has been able to generate quite quickly and easily this days. There are also non-curate databases, for this databases where the public or scientific individuals are able to submit sequences data, and most sequences to the databases or annotation information to the databases, but the data is not curate, that mean it is not manually checked to ensure accuracy of data, and you found that there are large amount of bioinformatics databases that non-curate, this is important to consider when you accessing data in the databases whether is it curate or non. Curate sources. Then, we have database that either sequence of genome center, so sequence of databases will be databases you just have particular identifier of sequence or name for that sequence, and then you have genome databases or genome resource where you have been available to access all the information for particular genomic region in particular organism, if you interested in particular region in genome. So for example, when you identifying all genes in chromosome 1, in human, then a genome centum database will allow you to access all genes in chromosome 1. So in terms of different types of databases, the first and most simple types of databases, is the primary databases, in which, the most row version of row data that available, and in terms of bioinformatics this primary databases is mostly store simply sequence information, so this can be nucleotide sequence information, or protein sequence information. In terms of protein sequence information, we have primary databases that store row sequence data for protein, as well as structure information for protein. So in terms of primary databases for sequence information, at the beginning of sequence era, the sequence data was been generated of many organism, there are need to form a formalized way, in which sequence data was stored and accessed, so this let the information of International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration, INSTC, and this is the collaboration between three separate institutes, and essentially it is the way was genomic sequence be stored in free public databases, and this. Three public databases manipulated to each other in regular one databases, so the first is DDBJ in Japan, the second is NCBI in United States, and the third is EMBLEBI in UK. So what happened, when your sequence data is enabled to submit that data to any individual databases, and typically, there are regular updating between these individual databases on one regular base, each have its own accession number and tools, although, they are linked to each other. Another type of databases, is the secondary databases, in which information is built upon the primary sequence data. An example for secondary database, is when we have annotation for particular sequence. Two of the most popular bioinformatics resources, where the data stored, and the first is the National Center for Biotechnology Information or NCBI in United States. And the second is the European Bioinformatics Institute or EMBLEBI in the UK.